A very good afternoon to everybody. Thank you so, so much for joining us once again on our Sun Set Safari here at Juma Private Game Reserve in the world renowned Sabi Sands, South Africa. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Cedric, and behind the camera with me down there on Rusty, we've got Owen. So thanks for joining. Yes, I am standing on a, a big dead knobthorn tree that, that has been pushed over by some elephants and it is quite sturdy for now I'm hoping so but let's see but yeah it's nice nice view I can take a look exactly what's happening around here and I'm thinking well if I need a leopard this afternoon I need to be a leopard I need to be one and I'm thinking well a leopard enjoys trees so I'm thinking well maybe that's a good thing to come right on top of this uh, dead knobthorn tree and to see if maybe I can just bring in those leopard lux from being on top here. This one is lying, sitting in the sun, just perfect. Oh, no, you got a little stretch here between your tail or your leg. There he is. You can see most probably that's a little, little home. That's a little hole that's where that one is looking into. Maybe that's like the little home where they stay. He's very relaxed. I thought he was going <clears> to... <throat> the way when we saw him, it looked like he was on a mission, but it looks like he's very relaxed now. Erin, it's beautiful just to watch your elephants. That's why I can, you can sit and watch elephants all day. Yeah, so, so amazing. Yeah, he's in my... Sorry, I just looked at his, his sheath now. You can see it's definitely dripping urine. Just smell it from where we are, but it's nice, it's amazing how relaxed this boy is. Look at that, carrying that branch with her, just leading the calf over the road. Just look at that, look how she's using her feet, that's incredible. So now what she's doing is actually debarking, and they often do this, uh, especially in dry times. And we are heading in winter as well, or midwinter, pretty much. So yeah, so that is meaning that things are dry. And a lot of the elephants out here are going to eat the bark. And sometimes the way they remove the bark is to stand on the branch while peeling off the, the bark, much like an orange peel, if you will. And sometimes they do walk off with branches and drop them on the road and things like that. That makes the ultimate sign for us that they have been there when you see these branches on the road. But sometimes, every now and then, you know, if there is, uh, say, for example, lions in the bush or whatever the case may be, and we do have to off-road to go to them, the rule out here is please stick to one set of vehicle tracks going in there because it's less damage. And uh, we might leave branches as a marker on the road to say, here is the vehicle tracks this is where you must go off but along the way we've come across a black backed jackal that seems to be watching something very intently here and just lying down in the middle of the road which is perfect for us this is a good view so we've actually stopped a, a, a fair distance away from this jackal we don't want to chase it away and this is i think the first one i know we've shown you one the other day with that uh, that blonde mane mahiwa when you had that kill there we could barely see him but we could see a jackal nearby interesting to watch them out here it's nice to watch them uh, jackals are really cool animals um, and you watch them you know, very busy very busy animals they're always looking for something walking through the bush with their nose down picking up all types of scents and smell and uh, one of the scents that they are very attracted to is afterbirth as soon as they pick up or a blood trail as soon as they pick that up um, then uh, they just follow and follow and follow. Afterbirth is the ultimate attraction for them because they can eat it. And then also uh, they use it to track down any baby animals. And that's one of their main prey items when they're going for um, antelope, is, uh, is the baby antelope. And I wanted to come and just uh, take a look at the water roll. This is the one right close to where we stay. And um, it's actually still within our campsite perimeter. 
this buffalo bull. He comes in every night. And one of the reasons is, for safety reasons, we've slashed the grass in the immediate vicinity in and around the camp. And it's created a new sort of green flush, green regrowth. And that's what he's after. It's good food for an old buffalo bull. Joining us here, we have lovely, lovely side strap Jack Hormel and a female here at uh, Northern uh, Southern Side of Sweden. Um, we had this jackal early this morning. They were calling, seems like they were spotted something as far as lion in the area. But I believe that they've seen something after that that were impala lambing. This is one of the most beautiful young jack. I mean, l I mean species or one of the smallest species that we have in the area jackal that it's more in a family of dog like family which they scavenge quite a lot and sometimes that time of the year you find jackal hunt and be successful what might be that time of the season is when the impala have youngster or even if we have seen them hunting scrub here we have seen them hunting gray decker Cien buck uh, babies that are a lot more successful. And once they had a kill, in most of cases, if they make a kill themselves, they're very silent. And remember, I mean, these guys are monogamous species. Once they pair, they pair for life and they hunt together. So if they do have their own kill, they're always silenced. But if they find lions and leopard, on the kill or other species of wild dog, they start to shout quite a lot. They make noise. That is. Oh, no, there is. What's in front of us? What's this? A leopard. It's a leopard. I've got a leopard. I've got a leopard. I've got a leopard. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, not my last minute. Not my last minute. Bit of the lumber, yeah. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Yeah, can you believe it? Uh, that's how a leopard looks like. I'm here on, uh, on the open area, just uh, south of our camp. Hello, girl. What a mission finding this, but it's nice. She is busy hunting. She's stalking some impala. But yeah, thank you so much for the comments and questions and everybody's support this afternoon. We really do appreciate it. And I'm so happy that we can at least end off with a last minute, literally last minute, a leopard. But yes, please join us, as I say, tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. From all of us at Wild Earth, good night. <laughs>